Hey guys, it's Mrs. Zach. I'm going to show you how to use the mesh tool. The mesh tool is over here. You see that? Looks like a spider web. Open a new document if you didn't already. Go to File, Place. Find your apple. And that is not the apple I want to use because that's it's a little big. I'm just going to use a smaller one. So I know I could make it smaller, but I'd rather just use this other apple. Okay. Now over here in your layers panel, you need to lock it. I'm going to do that right now. And then down here, create new layer. Click that. See how it's highlighted in blue? That's how I know I'm in the layer number two. I will not be using layer number one. I'm just going to be able to see it. Back to my pen tool. Turn off your stroke and fill minor. I already off. Make sure yours are too. Let's just start somewhere around here. Do some click and dragging, get some curves in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is uh, just for the sake of the mesh tool, so I'm not looking for a perfect tracing. And I'm not going to make one perfect for you either, so let's just go with it. And close the shape. Okay. Over here. I'm going to go to my mesh tool now. Click on it. And it, let's just play around. There's really not much logic to clicking all with this mesh tool, but I'm just going to click in some areas and just do your best. Click where you want. I don't care how many you have right now. I mean, how many lines you have, just go ahead and make some. And this is how I like it. There's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm going to move it over. And then I'm going to get the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select the majority of the color is this red. So I'm just going to click in the middle here so the whole thing turns red. Now look at this arrow. It's the direct selection tool. It's different from the regular selection tool because it only selects anchor points. So I'm going to click on that direct selection tool. And this is my mesh, my spider web. Let's say I want this area to be white like this one. So I'm going to click in those areas. Now look very closely at the difference of where I clicked. See this cross? It's red. Red dots where the others are white. Those dark red dots is where, what is going to be affected when I click on the eyedropper dropper tool over here. Now watch. See? What the mesh does, it do, it adds like a gradient, kind of almost like a 3D feeling to it. So I'm going to continue this. When you see different colors, then try to use that area. So let's try up here now. See those dark red dots compared to the white dots everywhere else? I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm just going to select some more so it's a larger area. I'll just do this whole side. And I will get my eyedropper tool. Click over here. There we go. See that? And let's just so make it a little more obvious. I'm going to start making this dark area at the bottom so you can see that better. So I get my direct selection tool. Click down there. Hold down shift. Keep clicking towards the bottom dots. And then my eyedropper. And then over here. There we go. Okay, and you keep on going. I know mine doesn't looks very bad right now, but I want you to keep on going and add all that variation of color. Take your time with this, why so I don't have much time to do this on the video. So also for the leaf, don't forget the leaf. Trace it out just like you did with the apple. I know that's a bad tracing, but I'm just going to keep on going. It's a leaf, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, get the majority of the color in there. Let's move it on over first so we can see it better. Oh, that's a terrible leaf. Move on over. And add your mesh. And 
and the direct selection tool. I will do this area over here because I see there's some darker parts. Holding down shift, take my eyedropper, click that area over there. I think that's too hard for you to see so I'm just going to make it more obvious and add some mesh. A little more mesh. Direct selection tool. Do that whole area down there. And maybe get a little bit of a different color green in there. I don't know if you can see this on the overhead projector, but there's slight different color greens in there. And it looks pretty good if you're re really close to it. You can also add the white part of the stem and also this brown stem over here. Alright guys, thanks.